Hello, my name is Mike Suters, and I'm an application engineer for Trimec. Today, I'd like to show you one of the lesser used features within SolidWorks called FeatureWorks. Sometimes when we get documents from our collaborators or download parts off the in internet, they're in a format other than a SolidWorks part file, typically something like a step file, a parasolid, or an IGIS file. So today we're going to be looking at the steps necessary to take a step file and convert that into a SOLIDWORKS part file. Typically when you open up an imported document, you'll see this import diagnostics prompt. This allows you to go through and basically analyze the geometry for any faults that might cause a problem for SOLIDWORKS. So let's go ahead and run that on this part. And here we can see that yes, we do have a faulty face right here that may cause a problem. So we'll attempt to heal that with our import diagnostics tool. Looks good there. We no longer have any faulty faces or gaps in the geometry, so we can proceed. Once we do that, we can see we're then prompted to, uh, to go through and recognize the features on this part with feature recognition or feature works. With feature works, there's two different modes that we can use. There's the automatic mode, which works really nicely for simple parts with easy to recognize features, and then the interactive mode, which gives you more control over the types of features that we're going to recognize and also allows you to recognize the features on more complicated parts. You'll see we also have the option to recognize our parts as standard features or sheet metal features. In this case, this is a machined part, so we'll probably keep that as standard features. When we go through and start recognizing these, I like to turn on my edges just so it's a little bit easier to see what it is that we're doing with our feature recognition. Once we've done that, it's basically a matter of working backwards through the part, sort of in the reverse order that you might build it. So for instance, if we go to our feature type, we can start to change this to different types. For instance, maybe a whole feature. When you're recognizing whole features, it's important that you go through and recognize all of the features that might make up that whole. So in this case, I'll grab both of these chamfer features uh, that correspond to that whole as well. We'll choose to recognize any similar holes and go through and choose that. Right there you can see it's now gotten rid of all of those holes with chamfers on them and now it's time to move on to the next holes. So again we'll choose the faces that make up those holes, choose to recognize similar, and you'll see that as you go through and recognize these those features will then disappear. That's a good indicator that you've gone through and recognized that feature um, as a new SOLIDWORKS feature. So now that we've got those holes, let's concentrate on these holes on the other side here. So again, we want to make sure that we go through and grab all of the faces that make up that hole. And in this case, I'll turn on Recognize Pattern, and we'll specify this as a circular pattern, and allow FeatureWorks to go through and recognize all of the holes on this front face. Once I've done that, it's probably time to move on to this, this next hole. Go through and get that one. Okay, and here you can see I've accidentally left on the, uh, the pattern feature. Um, so here we'll just say, yes, we want to keep this recognized feature, but without the pattern. And we'll turn that off. Okay, so now that we've recognized all of our holes, it's time to get started on the fillets. So we'll basically just go around this part and try to identify any fillets that might have been created with a fillet feature. We'll change our recognition type to a fillet slash round and we'll just go around and start recognizing a lot of these fillets. And again, just like on the other features, you'll see that as we start recognizing these, they will then disappear from the part, which is a good indication that they've been added to your feature tree. A lot of fillets on this part. Okay, I think that does it for the fillets. Let's take a look around the part here and just make sure we got all of those. And the next thing we'll probably move on to is our chamfers. Maybe we'll get rid of this one fillet feature as well. Um, so let's start on the chamfers. Much like fillets, 
Chamfers are one of those last things that we're going to do in the part, so it's going to be one of the first things that we do as part of our feature recognition. So anything that might be recognized as a chamfer, we'll go through and grab that, maybe this face right here, and look for any other uh, faces that might be identified as chamfers. I don't think I see any more just yet, so we'll go ahead and leave that alone for now. Um, so now that we've got that, it's time to start recognizing our extrusions. Uh, the order that you do this in is kind of up to you. You'll see SolidWorks is pretty flexible with how it recognizes these extrusions. Um, but again, good guideline is to kind of recognize these in the reverse, reverse order that you might build this part. So I'll go through and recognize this face right here as an extrusion. And again, you'll see that as soon as I recognize these, they then disappear um, from the model and just gives me a good indication that they've now been uh, added to the feature tree. So I'll recognize that one, maybe this face here as well. Basically just going through and deconstructing this part, breaking it down into its elements. Let's go through and get this outer uh, extrusion. Maybe this one as well. Sometimes you might run into an issue like this where it does not recognize that feature. Basically just try taking a different approach uh, when that happens. Okay, so there we go. We've gone through and recognized all of the features on that part. Next thing we'll do is go through and find any patterns that might be associated with this, anything that we might have missed. So we'll choose the automatic pattern recognition with a linear pattern type. Looks like we don't have any linear patterns that we miss, missed in this part. We'll go through and try that with circular patterns as well, just to make sure we didn't miss anything. And again, it looks like we're okay. So once we've done that, we can then hit okay, and SolidWorks will actually go through and reconstruct this part with all of those features that we just went through and recognized. Okay, so if we take a close look at our tree on the left hand side here, we can see that we no longer have any imported bodies uh, or imported features within my feature tree. The feature history is quite extensive since we did go through and recognize a large number of features, but now that we have these as SOLIDWORKS features, these could be tweaked uh, and rearranged as necessary to get this part built the, the exact way that you want it to. The next thing that I would recommend is going through and comparing this new geometry that you've gone through and recognized to the old imported geometry. In SOLIDWORKS, we have a great tool for doing that called the Compare tool. So we'll use Compare Geometry and we'll compare this against the original imported part that we created, or that we, uh, that we brought into SOLIDWORKS. Go through and choose to run our comparison on the geometry of these parts. And here we can see that we don't actually have identical parts yet. We actually have some material that was added um, on our um, imported part. Okay. Uh, so if we zoom in closely, here we can see, based off the original part, to get to the new part, we would have had to add some material within these holes. You can see that, that kind of uh, maroon uh, or dark red shading there indicating that material that was added to our new part. So let's take a closer look at that. Let's close our compare tool and go back to our newly recognized part. We'll turn on our edges again just to make things a little bit clearer. Uh, and if we take a close look here, we can see that yes, our holes down in this section aren't really clear right now. They're kind of blocked by this fillet on both sides here. Um, so in that case, not too difficult to fix. We'll basically recognize which hole feature this is here. We can see that's clearance hole four. This one here is clearance hole three. So we can probably get rid of this clearance hole four since it's uh, in line with the other hole. We'll go through and delete that one and then simply modify the end condition on uh, this, this hole three here. We'll make that through all as opposed to up to next. Go through and confirm that. And once we've done that, we can go through and run our geometry comparison again. Compare our geometry between the imported part and our newly recognized part. And now we can see within our geometry compare tool 
we have an indication that these volumes are identical to one another. So now our newly recognized part is exactly the same as our imported part. A good check to run at the end there, again, just to make sure that everything uh, is exactly the same as the part that you've imported. But now, of course, we have all of these features that I can go through and modify and reorder within SOLIDWORKS if I need to make any changes to this part.